We're joined now live from Parliament House in Canberra by political reporter Eliza Edwards. Uh, Eliza, we saw Gladys Lou last night deny any knowledge uh, of her associations or her being involved with either the Shandong or Guangzhou uh, Ch China, Chinese exchange associations, overseas exchange associations. Her statement now is a complete backflip on that. That's right, Chris. I'm at a prostate cancer barbecue here at Parliament House, but it's Gladys Liu who's facing the heat over her links to the Chinese government. Uh, she's been forced into a major back down today, today uh, releasing a statement confirming that she was in fact associated with two groups with links to the Chinese communist regime after telling Sky News last night, denying that that was the case. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I cannot recall uh, if, as it reported, that uh, from 2003 to 2015, 12 years long, uh, that if I can't recall, I can't be an active member of that uh, council, can I? How can you not recall a membership of 12 years? I mean, we've just shown your name listed there. I've got another document I can show you of your name listed in the other association. That's two associations, an association lasting 12 years, and you can't recall it? Well, I can tell you that I have never been a member of this council, and, um, yeah, it can happen. Uh, they can put your name there without your knowledge. So, Chris, Gladys Liu has released that statement today, saying that she could have chosen her words better in relation to Australia's position on the South China Sea. And as we mentioned, she did confirm that, and concede that she was a member of these councils with links to the Chinese government. Uh, she said that, I can confirm my previous association with the following community groups. Honorary President of the United Chinese Commerce Association of Australia. That role was related to trade connections with Australia. Also, as you mentioned, Chris, Honorary President of the Australian Zhangmen uh, General Commercial Association in 2016 and an honorary role of Guangdong Overseas Exchange Association in 2011. She says that she no longer has associations with either of these uh, organisations. But uh, as you said earlier, Chris, we can expect Labor will bring this up in question time. It's an issue that's likely to dominate. Centre Alliance also calling on Gladys Liu to make a statement in Parliament and, and Centre Alliance Senator Rex Patrick wants Australia's spy chiefs to look at whether there are legitimate links between Gladys Liu and the Chinese government. Here's what he asked. She ought to make a, a statement to her colleagues in the House, but, but actually I think also the Prime Minister should seek some advice from ASIO in respect of the allegations that have been made. Now, what would she say in a statement that would satisfy you? What could she possibly say? Well, I think that what she said last night uh, to Andrew Bolt was simply not, uh, not convincing and she really does need to think long and hard about uh, the, her past connections and she needs to be open and upfront about what, uh, what occurred.